All right. Uh, a little Turp Talk Extra. Got Keith Gatlin. And I remember, I don't know if it was Kornheiser or which Washington Post writer, said something that was extremely true about you. When people would go out and play pickup ball when I was 17, 18, 20 years old, somebody wanted to be Larry Bird, somebody wanted to be Michael Jordan, but around here, if you pick the point guard you wanted to be, say Keith Gatlin. Thank you. It was a great compliment. I really appreciate it. Uh, my mind goes back to a game I saw you play against Virginia in Cole Fieldhouse, one of the iconic plays in your career. Uh, you were running a fast break going in the same direction you're looking now. And Stevie Jones broke off the right side, and you must have thrown what I think is the longest lob dunk pass I've ever seen. Can you, can you recall that? Yes, I do, but uh, people don't understand. Speedy and Lynn Biles jumped so high. I just had to get it in the area close to the rim, and they would do the rest. So. We practiced that a lot, and uh, it was a not a play call. It was just a field. Whenever they got behind the defense, I knew I could throw it up. They would get it. Um, this is a really impromptu interview, but what what are your favorite iconic moments of playing? Uh, just being around the DMV, being in Coldfield House, being with the team. Uh, Lefty was so charismatic. Uh, we bonded. We bought into everything that the University of Maryland had to offer. Just being a part of that was like truly a blessing. Who else recruited you? Uh, NC State, uh, Wake Forest. I had a lot of schools, but when I came to visit here, I knew this was the place for me. Did you pick the number three? Any significance to that? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah, I wanted number three because uh, I won 24 in high school. Major Branch had 24, so I wanted number three. Well, I know you've got a long drive ahead of you. Thanks for being on Turp Talk. Uh, you're all-time favorite. Thanks for having me. Anytime. All right.